Hi, good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Gardening Zone 6B in New England. And today we're gonna plant some sweet potato slips. I picked these up from the farm store recently. They're Georgia Jet sweet potato slips and you can see they're, they're really well started in here. We've got roots going, everybody looks happy on top. We like to plant sweet potatoes when the temperature is over 60 degrees in the soil. It's the end of May, but still, you know, I don't want to chance it. With the conditioning that we did, our straw bales are going to be warmer on the inside. So we're going to put these in now and they will be in the ground, gosh, right up until first frost. Um, so come on along and let's get these in. We've got a whole bunch of shaggy ink caps coming up and that is a great sign. When we see these, we know that our conditioning has gone well and everything inside is starting to decompose and compost down. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm gonna lay some dirt over the top of these. That should squash some of the ink caps down and we'll get started. An important note about the ink cap mushrooms, these are not eating mushrooms. They will make you really, really sick. So don't, don't put those in your mouth. Wash your stuff when it comes out of your straw bales. Um, and yeah, don't, don't eat that. I'm laying down, gosh, an inch or two of the soil on top of the hay bales. This will help our sweet potatoes get started. It'll anchor them a little bit and it should help with any additional nutrition that they might need. I've got my sweet potato slips all laid out and now I'm just gonna put them in and there's really not much to this, just bury the root. So, let's see, we're gonna bury this part. Here's the method. I'm gonna kinda part the soil and the straw let some of the soil fall in and tuck her in. And there we are. We've got a nice long row of sweet potato slips. Little dog, Bailey Buttons. What do you think? Shall we tour the grounds? Seven minutes. Garden. Four. It's, uh, it's definitely a very starting garden, but let me show you what's going on. I'm so proud of these guys. Look at these peas climbing up. We've got onions coming in. Soon we'll have to spoon them. These peas are definitely the overachievers. These ones are also doing really well. Now I did different varieties. One of these varieties absolutely is a snow pea. One of them is a snap pea, and then the others were shelling peas. The herb patch is coming along. I'm super pleased. This is, I don't remember. Maybe it's bee balm. I'm not sure what that is. Um, that's a weed, and I'm going to pull it. Look at the oregano. And then we've got yarrow here. And hyssop. And mint. And we've got some chickweed in here with the garlic chives. And the regular chives are doing great. We've definitely got tomato volunteers out here. Lots and lots of them. So I'll thin those down as the season goes on. But I'm definitely going to humor a few of those. I would love to see these grow in. I think they're cherry tomatoes. Look at that. Got some nice, big, healthy plants in here. And one that's just starting out. Happy birthday, baby. Um, if you remember, we planted four different kinds of potatoes. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. Red Norland, Eva, Yukon Gold, Adirondack Blue. These ones I think are red. And yeah, these are the Adirondack Blue. You can see the pretty blue markings on them. So I'm stoked, I'm pretty stoked. Watching bee balm come in all along this area here. Multiflora roses. More berries. More berries. More berries. I've got all these buttercups around. It's just such a treat. Blueberries are flowering. 
Hopefully we'll see some fruit on these. These are high bush blueberries. And there are a couple more here that I'm not sure if they're high bush or low bush, but we're gonna take good care of them. Rhubarb patches, woo! The rhubarb patch is really up and at them. I'm gonna have to talk to somebody who knows what to do with rhubarb. That's compost onion. This is, oh my goodness, it's so much celandine. What I think I'm gonna do, this was, this was a garden last year, I assume, by the way that it's hilled up and rowed. I'm gonna get this ready over the next week to put in some of my favorite plants and I think what I'm going to do is hit it up with blood meal and worm castings and then spread some of that good compost over the area. Um, I may or may not choose to go with cardboard. I don't know. There's a lot of weeds. A lot of chickweed in here. Garlic mustard. Uh, white campion. Jewelweed. I have no idea. That's a potato. That is 100% a pair of compost potatoes. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. So pretty. I love bleeding hearts. Our apple trees have bloomed and hopefully are putting on fruit at this point. Let's see what's going on in the hay bales. Greens coming in here. We're doing okay. Um, I almost killed everything in here yesterday. Just wasn't paying attention and it all just got really crunchy. See, I lost a lettuce in that. Two lettuces, but the rest of it seems to be coming back. These are broccoli and it was so hot yesterday that they are already starting to bolt. So just keeping an eye on that. The chard suffered a little bit in the heat yesterday too. We've got mustard greens here that I planted from seed and some spinach that's just getting started. I am super pleased about these carrot sprouts in here next to these radishes. I have, I don't think I've ever had this good of a germination rate. Absolutely thrilled. Y'all, I am so proud of this radish patch. Look at these things. Let's say we harvest some today. So the idea with radishes is to get them when they're popping out. So you can see I double sewed in here. I didn't mark it. And so I've got carrots coming in too. Look at that. Hey, French breakfast radish. I wish I could say it was the first one of the season, but mom and I definitely ate a few of these. Once they're pushing out of the soil like that, um, they're ready. They are ready. Just a little, just a little one. Okay, and then these are something called a white icicle radish. There's also a fall version of this. These are really impressive. They're kind of sweet. They're kind of sweet like a daikon. And I have so many. So let's grab some more. We're gonna get these inside and settled into some nice cold water. Rinse off the heat and keep them crispy. Look at that, lovely. Later on, I'll come through and I'll succession sow some more radishes, but not where the carrots are. Let's get these inside into some cold water. And then like a favorite Philip K. Dick book, it just, there's no more footage. It just stopped. I. <laughs> How does your ADHD work? Because the answer to that for me is overtime, currently, overtime. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for planting out with me today and going on a little tour of the grounds. I will catch you up soon. Take care. Don't get me wrong, I love Philip K. Dick. Big fan of Dick.